Hey guys, welcome back to today's video. Me and Marilyn will be the baddest bitch of them all. How can I not do NARS? I probably own five eyeshadow palettes by Mar. NARS himself is a ma legendary makeup artist. Now the brand is owned by Shiseido. First one today, I'm gonna be testing out Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. It is a medium to full coverage, buildable, natural finish, transfer resistant, sweat resistant, fade resistant, all resistant, love it, non-drying, uh, alcohol free, apparel free, oil free, fragrance free, 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 free. Um, and uh, dermatolog dermatologist tested, now on common, comedogenic, and also it is a 16 hour wear, long wear foundation, untraceable, unstoppable, unlike anything else. That sounds like my ex-boyfriend, except the 16 hour part. Like. I'm in shade L5, which is Fiji, uh, light, uh, light shade number five. For prep my skin today, I'll use the Tatcha Silk Canvas Liquid. All right, all right, all right, let's blend. Okay, guys, <laughs> not even joking, already loving it. Because while you're blending it like a fresh out of application, you literally feel like it's like so light weighted. It literally feels like you're blending powder. Super, super comfortable, really smooth. Really good, super easy to blend. I'm gonna use Oil Control Setting Spray by Makeup Forever to set, the, to lock all that oil in. Okay, but one thing I do have to say about this spray is like the mist, it's so intense. All right, uh, we're gonna go on a foundation wear test. I'll see you guys soon. All right guys, welcome back. It has been 10 hours and let's take the look. Where the makeup stays really, really amazing, except here, I just received a sample lipstick. Why don't we apply that lipstick right now? This is the Rouge Earlier Ink Fusion, and this is the matte liquid version. I have like other color, but this one is 818. This is true red. Oh my god, it's so pretty, really lightweighted. Really quick, let's take under eye. Here, there's no dryness, no patchiness. Just spent a little bit dark circle since I think the coverage kind of a, it's not like enough here, especially, you know, you know, after 10 hours, maybe the coverage is not that anymore. And probably sometime just because of my eyeshadow fallout, it kind of like, um, like a, you know, you can see the dark circle. Uh, the nose is just like a really reasonable situation. Uh, this eye is much better than this one for some reason. See the eyeshadow here, it's like much better. A little bit fade away here, patchy a little bit around this area, but I guess it's not like a huge problem. It's not like a full, full coverage foundation. I can definitely see like the coverage kind of uh, disappear at the end of the day. The forehead seems like a bit okay. Uh, I guess it is a medium to full coverage, buildable, but I think currently right now the coverage tends to slide to a more medium wise. I did sweat. I mean, it it definitely counts as like sweat resistant and transfer resistant because I was rubbing my face into cocoa and it's like really fine. I totally agree with the it's not drying you part, but about the fade resistant, maybe not like completely true because I did feel like the coverage at the end of the day went away a little bit. Absolutely, motherfucking lately. 4.5 because it's just amazing. It's like super, super comfortable. Starting from like blending, the application already like gave me like this wow. And right now, uh, without like those like minor issues, it's a completely, it's a completely yes to me. Don't think a uh, dry skin would have like a, that much of the is issues to this. A great antioxidation. I think there's no dullness right now. It's it's amazing foundation. I am so glad that we get to do NARS. I almost forgot it. Cannot believe it. That's so much for today's video. Thanks so much for watching. Comment down below and let me know what you think. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.